Hi Leo! Welcome to your reading Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Leo, in this reading we'll be focusing on your person and we will take a look at your connection with this person. We will check this person's energy. We'll also take a look at their feelings, uh, their intentions, their actions towards you and we will check your connection with this person. We'll also pull some messages of love for you and for this connection, Leo. So let's take a look. Let's start. Let's start, Leo. Let's see. Okay. With whom we are connecting today for Leo, please. Could you please show this person? Could you please show this person? Could you please show this person? Way too many. But what do we have? What spirit wants to... Okay, so we have the Five of Swords. We have a Five of Wands. We have a King of Swords. And we have a Four of Swords and Justice. There is a conflict. I feel someone here played mind games. And while shuffling, we were asking about this person. So spirit is emphasizing here that this person played mind games with you, Leo. They created conflict. I feel there was a argument and, and for, for some of you this is no contact situation or you're taking some sort of a you're having a break or you have a quiet days for some of you it was breakup with the king of swords and with the justice i feel very strongly you know, that you might be thinking about this situation i can reassure you that this person is thinking as well about their actions how they approach this connection and what they did you might be dealing with libra okay but let's take a look could you please show me this person, person on Leo's mind, person that we are connecting for Leo today. Could you please show me this person? Okay. So we have Leo two of pentacles. We have an ace of pentacles. We have a nine of wands. We have a six of cups, Leo. We have a temperance for this person. Mm -hmm. One more, please. For this person, please. Leo's person. Person with whom we are connecting for Leo, please. Yeah. And we have this five of swords that wanted to show up. We'll, we'll pull more. We'll take all of those this person Leo and we have six of Pentacles Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck we have the magician okay so you might be Leo dealing with with Gemini I have very strong Sagittarius as well this is someone I feel that you might have um, history with with the six of cups this is someone from your past i feel or someone who you've known for a long time leo this person wants to uh reconcile with you or they want to you know be on a speaking terms they want to come back with the six of cups five of swords this individual played mind games and they did it because they are very insecure. This is someone I feel Leo who has trust issues. The cards are showing here that there was a very, very beautiful opportunity with regards to this connection, but this person at some point, they start juggled you and maybe other option, another option you with another option let's say it that way and ultimately they played mind games <coughs> excuse me this is someone who breadcrumbed you who gave you time attention and affection only when it was convenient for them because they were also given to another situation with a knight of cups i can reassure you that this person is thinking of coming back or making some sort of attempt to uh, to reconcile with you, to apologize, to be in touch with you. Okay. 
this is a very strong self-sabotage energy this person essentially they sabotage this connection because of the insecurities with the magician they are very much thinking about you Leo they want to manifest you they want to take some sort of initiative in order to change the circumstances between the two of you current circ circumstances but they they acted here in some sort of not very nice way okay there is a lack of justice this is someone also I feel who who likes to argue for the sake of argument they want to win at all cost when it comes to argument I feel they they created a very strong boundaries they put some sort of blockages and it was very very difficult at some point to to reach to this person to to break those walls very strong defensive mechanism it's shown by this nine of wands we have this temperance divine timing Th yes this person i feel leo they do want to come back in any in some sort of shape or form or they want to apologize or they want to reconcile or they want to be in touch or they disappeared and now they want to you know make themselves known that they want to be again present in your life but this is indeed someone with the six of cups who 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 you've known for some time or even you were in a relationship or it is uh, someone um, with whom you have a history okay but with the temperance this is an individual who wants to bring peace tranquility they want to clear the air and they want to essentially reconcile with you okay so let's take a look Leo what do we have let's see could you please show me Leo's connection with this person could you please show me Leo's connection with this person? Could you please show me Leo's connection with this person, please? Okay. So we have a Hierophant judgment. Okay. Let's see. You might be dealing with Taurus. I have strong Scorpio as well. Leo. W what else, please? We have a King of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Oh, look how they're stressing out, Leo. We have a nine of swords at the bottom of the deck we have a three of swords this person broke your heart mm -hmm. on your side leo we have hierophant judgment indeed you might be dealing with taurus i have strong scorpio this is a passive energy this is passive energy and uh, you know <laughs> Passive and not passive, because <laughs> with the Hierophant, you know, he's sitting there. He's an ultimate teacher. I feel that this connection taught you some sort of spiritual lesson. You know, I feel that you've learned a lot. Especially when it comes to what you really want from your relationships and how your life to look, how your love life to look like. But with the Hierophant and Judgment, this is a very strong divine energy. I feel, Leo, that uh, you, sti you still feel the strength of this connection with the judgment. I can tell you one thing, that it you, you will be put in a position that you will have to make a decision with regards to this connection, okay, with the judgment card. Quite profound with this Hierophant, because I feel that this person is coming, and uh, I feel this person we will of course pull more cards but what I see so far I feel that you've seen this person as a material for a long-term commitment for for a higher level of commitment with this Hierophant card judgment mm -hmm. there is a decision I feel that you made a certain decision as well with regards to this connection but I can also also reassure you that you will be put in a position that you will have to decide 
what to do uh, with this connection. Okay, I'll pull more cards for you in a minute. King of Pentacles as a mutual energy. Leo, you may be dealing with the, with the Earth sign. So we have, yes, with the Hierophant and with the King of Pentacles, quite strong Taurus. I also have Capricorn and Virgo energy. It shows Leo that uh, I strongly feel that this person wanted to have um, control over this situation. The thing is with the King of Pentacles that there was a potential, and I feel there is a still potential, for this connection to be stable. Okay? To be quite solid. We'll pull more cards for that because I need to clarify that. Your person's energy, nine of swords, they are stressing out. This, this person is very, very, in, they are not in a good place, okay? This is someone who has a guilty conscience. This is someone who's very unhappy and they are stressing out. This person is full of anxiety they worry non-stop and as much as they might trying to you know just normally approach everyday life with their routines you know go to work or you know meet up with friends whatever the case might be deeply inside this person is devastated mm -hmm. i feel that there is this sudden realization coming today energy leo that they lost someone who was very kind and nice towards them. Whatever the case might be here, Leo, this person is unhappy. Mm -mm. And with this hierophant and judgment, I can tell you that you are in control because that's their energy and this is your energy. You are in the major arcana, your energy. You are, you know, you are, I, I feel, Leo, that I don't feel that you chase, you know, you, you are not in a chase around a dynamic with this person. You don't chase this individual. If they have something to say, they can communicate. But this person is scared because this is all an overall energy for your connection here. Breakup, sadness, tears, pain, emotional pain, emotional hurt, tears. Something happened very painful between the two of you and this person is stressing out because they do want to reconcile. They want to come and apologize. But that's the overall energy. And that's why they're stressing out. Let's see. Let's clarify this judgment and this hierophant energy on your side. Why? Why we have the hierophant and judgment, please, Spirit? For Leo. Why is that? Please show us. What is that? What is that? We have a Eight of Cups. We have the Emperor. We have very strong cards, Leo. And we have a Page of Wands. That's what I was getting. This person at some point, I feel Leo, was uh, making you feel stuck. They made you feel stuck. And I also feel that you might be feeling, well, my hands are tied. There is nothing else I can do. If this person wants to make attempt to communicate, that's fine. But for some of you, you might even block this individual with this Eight of Swords. But I feel that you are reached the point that you are thinking, well, I've tried everything, you know, and now ball it's 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 day court I, I can't do anything that's why the eight of suits shows essentially that's what i feel with this energy is that you might be kind of you know thinking that well my hands are tied i'm not going to chase this individual anymore they had an approach approach opportunity with me but they played mind games I'm not going to entertain it. However, Leo, as much as the Eight of Swords is showing here as your overall energy, I feel that if this person would approach you and try to kind of uh, explain themselves or try to, you know, give you an explanation, you might be open for communication because we have this page of wands. Without a doubt, Leo, with this 
emperor you took back control you are this and that's what i was getting you are in control big time you might be dealing with aries and i feel leo that you walked away because we have this eight of cups in your energy you walked away from the situation because you saw that this person is just messing around they are not being truthful tr fully it's, it's something here maybe what i'm getting here that you realize that something is becoming quite toxic and that's this person's attitude and i feel that you detached yourself at some point from it you walked away you thought maybe you know sod it i'm not going to give to the situation because it, it doesn't have to be that 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 difficult it should be it should flow you are coming here leo you know your energy is very stable very grounded we have the hierophant we have judgment we have the emperor this is like a powerhouse i feel leo you know exactly what you want and you are you know you are not going to uh, compromise for anything that you you, you oh, what <laughs> I should say it differently in as you know exactly what you want and you don't want to co compromise for anything less that you deserve you know exactly you know your value you know what you bring to the table and if this person is unappreciative and they can't understand or they don't see it then they can go essentially and and you know pl they can play their game somewhere else but I tell you one thing, this person is stressing out. This is someone who wants to reconcile with you. They want to come back in any shape or form into your life, to be in touch, to be in relationship. Okay. If there was the case, Leo, that if, for instance, you know, you were the one who was trying always to kind of reach out to this person or you tried to kind of fix the situation because I can see with this page of wands and with the with the with the judgment card that it might have been a case I feel that you no longer want to do that you are kind of putting you you kind of putting your foot down and saying no enough it's enough I'm not doing it anymore but with the judgment card I also feel that at some point you will be put in a in a, some sort of situation with regards to this person and this connection that you will have to make some sort of choice and I feel the choice would be about them coming back therefore if you would like to have you would like to give them another chance let's see this king of pentacles why the king of pentacles here why the king of pentacles okay we have justice Why the King of Pentacles, please, for this connection? We have a high precious. Mm -hmm. Right, and we have the Tower. So, Leo, you might be dealing with Scorpio. I have Libra, and I also have Pisces energy here. Secrets, secrets. Something here had a good potential, I feel. Oh wow, and we have a four of wands relationship. I feel that I'm talking here to the US that they were in a relationship or some sort of very strong connection with this individual represented by the four of wands. This is also Leo um, twin flame energy, 1111. For some of you, you might be dealing with your twin. Okay, that's why it's so so challenging and difficult because you are in a completely different levels you are, you are i feel you that you outgrown at some point this situation you know you are <laughs> represented here in the hierophant energy you understand more i feel for some of you you are very spi know, for some of you i feel that i'm dealing here with leo who is very spiritual who is interested in spirituality and who also understand some sort, of, for instance, relationships and love, in not that kind of three D way, but also on this more spiritual level. They are in a nine of swords. You know, this is a completely different energy. You you can't really compare both. You are here. 
I feel, Leo, that at some point you wanted to kind of uh, guide this person or provide some sort of guidance with this Hierophant. You wanted to, um, to help this person, but they put some sort of barrier here. It was like talking to the wall. You know, you might, you might have spent so many, so many, uh, m so much time trying to kind of guide them, trying to reach to this person. But ultimately, I feel this person just kind of shut themselves down and they, they, they just, it, it was, you know, they didn't want it to resonate what you wanted to say. Very insecure individual here, Leo. So we have this King of Pentacles uh, clarified. Okay, I'm outside, so <laughs> you have to be careful with the energy of the wind. <laughs> so we have this King of Pentacles um, clarified by the Justice, the High Priestess and the Tower. Yeah, this person had secrets and I feel they caused the Tower moment. And again, I strongly feel that you were treated and this connection at some point I feel was treated in general unjust by this individual. Mind games mind games something here for some of you ended for some of you you had the tower moment within this connection because of some secrets and I also feel for some of you Leo that you might have found out about something very strongly it's coming forward that sort of kind of a energy with the justice something was here very unexpected it was like a lightning from the sky completely out of the blue and i feel it kind of um give a light to the situation that has been hidden for some time and with the justice something was revealed for some of you it indeed might be a case leo we are connecting here with a collective energy so there will be many scenarios okay for so uh, f f for you Leo and um, cross watchers you are very much welcome but also please take a note that it might play from your perspective so the roles can be switched so for instance it might be something that Leo did to you okay that Leo caused the tower moment in this connection you 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 you, you can read it you can kind of uh, read this reading that way but I feel yes because of some secrets here something just crashed truth was revealed and it was about strongly about the connection you had with this individual the thing is that the king of pentacles it represents stability and i feel because of this person's i sense that because of this person's attitude mind games trickery lies that that something which was stable no longer is because of secrets there is without a doubt this person feels a very strong soul connection with you with the six of cups and we have this 11 11 card represented by the four of wands which shows that you know it might be indeed a twin flame connection for some of you let's see this nine of swords could you please show me this nine of swords for this person's energy with regards to this connection. Why the Nine of Swords? 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 Okay. They want to talk way too many. What do we have? We have a Seven of Cups. We have an Eight of Pentacles. We have the Lovers. And we have the Eight of Swords. Mm -hmm. this person I that's what I was getting here I feel this person at some point made you feel that you are an option not a priority at the bottom of the deck we have a two of cups Leo this is very specific what I will say but for some of you you might find out that this person uh, had an affair at their workplace okay because we have the eight of pentacles and the lovers that's very specific of course it won't resonate with all of you but it might be a case you might be dealing with gemini as well and i feel this person was just distracted so th yeah
it's very strange, you know, because I see individual who is very kind of a, who represents very, very strange energy because I see here someone who wants to work on the connection, but at the same time, this is someone who is distracted, who, who is lacking clarity, who is lacking direction. Someone who doesn't know what they truly want. And at the end, they feel completely blocked and trapped in their man mindset. Therefore, what I'm getting here, Leo, is uh, someone who does want to reconcile. Because, look, we have this two of cups at the bottom of the deck for their energy. This person, indeed, they want to reconcile. This is a very strong soul connection. I feel it might be your twin flame. But this person is lacking direction. They don't know what they want with the Seven of Cups. And I feel that they made you feel at some point that they made you feel that you are an option, not a priority for them. Therefore, at some point, I feel something here backfired. This person was caught in their own mindset. This is like a, this is like imp this person like um, imp impose. I think I can say it that way. Some sort of self limitations. You might have felt that, you know, there was a, this person reached a certain level when it. Sorry, uh, that this connection reached a certain level, certain kind of. The you might have felt that this person was unable to progress or to advance in this connection or take to this connection into the next level because of their insecurities. It looks like a lost opportunity. You know? But for some of you, this person just... Um, it might be a case that they had an affair with their co-worker or this person put you in a third party situation. It can be that, you know, with the lovers. But what I can see here overall, it, it's someone who is lacking direction, who is distracted. This person doesn't know what they want. And I feel they were feeding you with an excuses, excuses, ex excuses, excuses. It's not the right time. Oh, I need to be more focused on work. Something of this kind, it, it's coming forward. I'm not fully ready. The thing is that the overall energy is the two of cups. This is someone who loves you. Who, this, person, this person wants to be with you. But they have issues. Interesting. Let's see, Leo. Let's see, could you please show me this person's feelings towards Leo? Could you please show me this person's feelings towards Leo, please? This person's feelings towards Leo. This person's feelings towards Leo. We have a three of pentacles. We have the sun, that's your energy, Leo. Or you might be dealing with another Leo. And I have a king of cups. At the bottom of the deck, we have a knight of swords. And when we cut the deck, mm -hmm, we have an eight of wands. This is someone who wants to rush in and talk to you. This individual wants to be in touch with you. Not only send you a message. This is a being in touch. This is a conversation. This is sending text and, you know, receiving text back. They want to be in touch with you. They want to rush in to... Yeah, they feel this urge deeply inside in their heart because it's their emotions. This is, this is someone who feels very passionate about you. They, they really want to be in touch with you. And I strongly feel with the sun, you are, you know, in, at the heart of their, of their feelings. So you are deeply, you know, rooted in their heart. With the king of cups, this person loves you. They love you. And when I see this dynamic, I can, I can feel that it might be a twin flame connection because they do have feelings for you. King of Cups is a king of love. The sun, it's a beautiful energy. 
everybody wants to feel some <laughs> energy because it's warmth, it's fulfillment, it's happiness, it's joy. And that's how you make this person feel. With the Three of Pentacles, they want to work on this situation, they want to be a twi uh, team player. Therefore, Leo, if, 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 you are, if you are asking or if you are, you know, f asking yourself a question, oh, I don't know if this person ever loved me, if they cared, I can see with this cast that yes, this person is in love with you, they love you, but th th this is a quite challenging energy and it is, uh, it is created by this person. I feel this person projected insecurities on this connection and at some point they caused the disarray of swords energy which is an energy of heartbreak, separation, breakup, disappointment. But it seems here, Leo, that this person is in love with you indeed. And th but that's their feelings. They do want to work on the situation based on those cards. Let's see, Leo. Let's see this person's intentions. Could you please show me? this person's intentions towards Leo, please. We have the Empress. Could you please show me? You can move those. Could you please show me this person's intentions towards Leo, please? Could you please show me this person's intentions towards Leo? We have the Ten of Cups. Oh my gosh, we have an Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. We have the Four of Cups and we have this Five of Wands that we had before we started the reading. Mm -hmm. This person wants to make amends. They no longer want to fight. They no longer you know, create this. They, this is someone who knows. They know exactly that they were drama, they create conflict, that they made you feel dissatisfied. I feel at some point even bored with this constant um, power struggle, again projected by this person. This person created barriers, I feel at some point, point they pushed you away because this is essentially an energy someone who has mood swings and who is constantly dissatisfied with the four of cups and i feel that at some point you felt that this person is like this that, that it is their attitude that no matter how much you would you would try to kind of reach to them try to offer them your cup of love support um help love it wasn't good enough for this individual and it was like the constant kind of clash between the two of you but it is because of this person's attitude i feel that at some point you stand up for yourself Leo, and you said enough it's enough i don't want to do it anymore if you want to act like this you, there you go you can do it the door is open I don't want this. I want stability. I want a long-term commitment. I want someone who will be there for me, who I can trust. And who is there for me for, 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 for better and worse. Not this. This is unstable. This is drama. In their intentions, Leo, this person wants to, wants to be with you. This is someone who wants to essentially have family with you the empress they see you as their divine counterpart with the ten of cups this is a card of happily ever after family long-term relationship which is based on happiness and fulfillment and with the ace of cups they want in their intentions they want to offer you their cup of love they no longer want to fight, you know, 
as a, as a, as a vibe, having arguments. They don't want to be conflicted here with you. They need to change their attitude. This is someone who has an attitude. Mm -hmm. this, this individual, they want to talk. They want to talk about this situation, about this conflict. But in their intentions, look, we have the Empress. They see you as their divine counterpart. This is someone who sees you as a loving, caring, nurturing energy. And they see that they can achieve this happily ever after with you. That they can have a family or long-term relationship full of love, happiness and fulfillment. With the Ace of Cups, in their intentions, they want to offer you a some sort of form of an apology, form of affection. They want to tell you that they are in love with you and they love you. You see, this is this, I'm giving you my love. Cups are emotions and that's, the intentions are very nice. This is someone, Leo, who really wants to be with you. They're stressing out that it's too late, that they mistakes, that, you know, because of their attitude, they, they kind of m messed things up. They, they blew it. And they are now stressing out their actions. Could you please show me this person's actions towards the... You might be dealing with Gemini. I have strong Taurus as well here. Leo. Okay. Ten of Cups. Two of Wands. We have a seven of swords and we have seven of pentacles. 1977 might be quite significant for you, Leo. Or seven of June, July, seven, seven. You might be seeing synchronicities when you think about this person. Again, it's, it's uh, or you might be mi mirroring yourself or during this connection, you know, you might have mirror, m mirrored <laughs> yourself as each other. That's what, what I wanted to say. This is a strong twin flame energy here throughout this reading. I can see it. In the actions, dear, this person wants to have your attention. They want to reconcile with the Ten of, um, with the ten of Wands because it's just too much for them. They are stressing out. They want to drop this burden. They are stressed. They are, they are exhausted. And with the two of wands, I feel this person is observing you. And also they are coming into kind of a decision that it's the right way to do. It's, it's, it's a right time to approach Leo and to, to have a conversation with Leo. I'm sorry, it's a claim. <laughs> but um, mm -hmm. this is someone who is invested, Leo. But this person has to drop the BS with the seven of swords this is someone who has to stop playing mind games stop trying this <laughs> Leo. Th it shows someone who wants to just you know try to find a way how to get get back into your life that's what it's th what it shows with the seven of swords but again this person has a tendency to sabotage their actions because look he 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 he's looking here very confident but the way he's holding those swords it's a very um, foolish anytime can this this individual can be hurt and that shows that um self-sabotage energy they need to stop acting that way because with this energy your energy you can you can just Look, you can just see through someone else's BS, essentially. You know, you are, you're on the throne, <laughs> Leo. This person is trying to be flexible, trying to figure out mm, how I should do that. Or maybe if I do this, or maybe if I go where Leo is, I know that Leo is going. Or if I approach Leo's friends, that sort of kind of energy is it's, it's showing here by the Seven of Swords. This person wants to just 
figure out how to get, can they can you know once again be present in your life or how they can approach you but they are very invested in their actions here this person will make attempts to 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 talk to you in order to to bring happiness and joy to this connection this person essentially i feel they want to reconcile with you for some of you you might meet them being out with your friends or there would be some sort of gathering it can be a music festival or some sort of music event music it's coming forward very strongly here leo for some of you and this person you know they will show up here because they do want to it's it's too much for them it's, it's this person is thinking about the situation 24 7. it's not that they are completely unbothered no 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 that's not what is going on with these cards here so you can expect me meeting up this person per accident in a bracket right because this is this is tragedy this person is planning this they essentially planning how to approach you Therefore, in their actions, you can expect that, th that, uh, that this person is, will send you a message or you will meet them somewhere. You, will, you, you, you know, it would be like, oh, oh, hi, hello. I didn't know that you, you're going to be here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> With the seven of swords. Of course, they knew. And I feel this person will make attempt to talk about the situation. I feel they will kind of, uh, you will sense, Leo, that this person is not having a good time and they do want to kind of uh, reconcile with you. Okay. So we can expect some sort of, uh, this person, you know, you can expect to meet up this person per accident again in the brackets or this person will, uh, will will send you a message to talk to you about this situation I also feel Leah for some of you that this person will try to involve your friends okay or some sort of group of friends they might be reaching out and said oh do you know what Leo is doing or um, you know th they are involving other people in that situation for some of you in order to kind of have this chance to talk with you so we have addiction and addiction is affecting this relationship we have mastery that's your card Leo look with this emperor you've learned the spiritual lesson absolutely could you please show me more, more for Leo and for this connection as well True love. Wait. And at the bottom of the deck we have a soulmate. Yeah. That's what I was getting here. Twin flame connection or very strong soul connection here. You share with this individual. This person is aware. They feel it. That's why they are in, in some sort of emotional agony with this nine of, nine of swords. For some of you, Essentially, and literally, addiction might be affecting this connection. But with the addiction card, it is also a mindset. This is this devil's energy, which uh, represents um, holding back, you know, something toxic about the situation or someone else's approach. And I feel when I look at this person's energy, that's exactly what they were projecting. That kind of, at some point, I feel they developed the codependent relationship because this person feels very insecure about themselves. They have to change their behavior because spirit is saying here, yes, it seems that you do share a very strong soul connection. It can be your soulmate, but it's very important for this uh, soulmate to not become bec be, to not become a karmic soulmate because it is very possible and with the addiction card there is a danger therefore they really have to change here this behavior with the mastery i feel leo that you've learned a spiritual lesson you are in a completely different level than this person you're completely out of their league 
when it comes to spirituality, spirituality awareness, you are awakened here. You understand things. This person, they need to learn. They need to level up. They need to catch up. Oh, that's what I should say. True love. Again, I feel that, yes, indeed, there is a love between the two of you. And Spirit is saying here, wait, the time is not quite right. So if you've been thinking about approaching this, this, this person, which I didn't really see when it comes to your energy, I feel that you might be open for communication, but I don't see you approaching them. But if that's the case, Spirit is saying here, wait, don't make the move. That's like an advice because uh wait for this person because this person is coming back they will approach you they will with these cards the timing is not quite right yeah this person might have to you know they need to fully realize and i feel they do they are realizing that Essentially, I feel that way it's saying here, let this person first approach you, because they will. And it might be quite significant for this connection and for the future of this connection, when it comes to dynamic between the two of you. Okay, let's see. Let's see the outcome. Could you please show me an out the outcome between Leo and this person? Could you please show me an outcome for Leo's connection with this person, please? And so we have page of pentacles with the king of swords here, Leo. And at the bottom of the deck, we have a page of swords. So, yes, with the king of swords, uh, king of swords represent communication. And essentially it shows that uh, in the coming future, or even in the near future, I feel that there will be a... A prospect possibility with this page of pentacles uh, for you to have um, quite straightforward and quite honest conversation with this individual I feel that certain things will be explained uh, and I feel that also you will gain more clarity about the situation okay so that's the outcome really so what what spirit is showing here that there will be a possibility for um, communication and from sort of gaining more clarity about the situation as an overall energy for this reading we have a page of swords Leo you might be also dealing with Aquarius Gemini Libra okay with this king of swords with the page of swords I strongly feel Leo that this person is essentially keep on tabs on you they are trying to figure out what you're up to and that's what I was getting here when it comes to their actions. This is someone who, who is strategizing, planning, um, and they are thinking very hard here. They are overthinking, overanalyzing the situation. But that's the energy. What can we do? Yes, so with the Page of Swords, I feel this person is looking at your social media. They are keep on tabs on you, and they are essentially waiting for this best moment to approach you but but communication and some sort of clarity is coming w with regards to this uh, this situation Neo so you can expect this individual to uh, to make the move and to to try to communicate with you okay I would leave it here Leo thank you so very much for being with me please like share and subscribe and I truly hope that this reading was of help I wish you all the very best. I truly do. And once again, thank you so very much for being with me. I truly appreciate you. Thank you so very much. Take care, Leah. Bye.